and good evening everyone it's uh, eight o'clock even it's two minutes past eight so today is Tuesday the third of May happy Easter Jesus Christus was Christ uh, Christ uh, has risen and as usually we start uh, our meeting with the jingle Korea English online let's listen I will share my screen and you will see how it is working. The second time. And for the third time, good evening, uh, Vadim, Ol Olenka, Olya, Maxim, and I see it's Ivan and Katya. So let's tell, say you hello and look what do I have? So just one of the embroidery dish, embroidery towel and um, so let's start. Today we will talk um, a little bit about Easter. Then uh, uh, I will show you uh, some uh, task from model five. We will talk about resume, uh, also a little bit of grammar, and um, some uh, surprise for you, probably uh, in the middle of our learning process. So my my question is very simple. Uh, probably let's start from uh, I even don't know from Yekaterina. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Right, also, yeah. I'm fine and news. Yeah, also, I think everybody today are great because uh, for three days we are not working and we don't go to the work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have uh, so long holidays and uh, we are great. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Easter holidays are, uh, are really great. So, Katya, tell us please, how did you celebrate Easter? What did you do? What did you cook? Maybe maybe some tradition, Easter traditions in your family? Um, we don't have any uh, special uh, Easter traditions in our family. But um, every Easter, usually we go to uh, church and to uh, morning Easter ceremony. And uh, then we have um, a ceremony breakfast with uh, Easter cakes, uh, with uh, eggs, <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, with some goodies. <laughs> and then we um, often we go uh, to uh, out and uh, to have picnic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we uh, usually we have picnic, um, but um, uh, in Odessa we uh, don't have picnic uh, to uh, last years. Uh, yes, but uh, as far as I understood, you went to the center and you even saw to our twin sisters in the center. Am I right? Uh, we in uh, this uh, year, we uh, don't, uh, we didn't uh, go to cent center of city because it is um, some dangerous um, uh, yeah. situation. Situation, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course, I forgot about this even. Uh, in fact, these two holidays, you know, East the plus first of May and uh, on the second of May yeah it was uh, really horrible um, events in Odessa so 
probably it's really dangerous. Just stay at home to be safe. Yes, of course. Well, thank you very much. Let's listen to our two ladies, Karina and Christina. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. So we are very glad to see both of you today. Uh, what about your family? How did you celebrate? Maybe you have something special. Uh, yesterday we was on the nature. Uh, we was in the country. We uh, eating Easter cakes and uh, rest with us friends. Uh -huh. So. Uh, do you have any special traditions, like, I don't know, maybe special game, or maybe you put something into your basket that only you are doing this? We uh, don't have uh, some special tradition, Easter tradition, but uh, uh, every year we make a picnic uh, on the nature. On the nature. At night. Yeah, well, so, fine. Um, Okay, let, let's, we are moving next. Uh, here is uh, Maxim and Ivan, as I understood. Uh, yes, we are Hello. here. How many people of, of you are there? Only two, or maybe more? Two, only two. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we are two. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in fact, in our course, you are really big family. There are five people of Milnichenko, yeah? Am I right? Yeah, yes. that's right. <laughs> yeah, so big family, as in Ukrainian we call it like rodina. It's not семья, it's rodina, because uh, a lot. So three, three generations, yeah. Uh, two, two, two boys, uh, two sons, and uh, uh, daughter-in-law. Yeah, it, it means only two generations. Uh, yes, yes, that. Well, so do you? How did you celebrate this Easter? Um, we we celebrate uh, all um, uh, holidays uh, together. Um, we um, um, barbecue, uh, making uh, pascas, mm. yes, Easter cake. Uh, uh, Pasca is also okay. fine. Yes. Uh, at the morning we uh, uh, we went to the church. Uh, yes. Then we we went to the sea. <laughs> Did you swim? Uh, we went to the sea. Oh. But. But we cannot uh, swim because it's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> so we so, wait for warm uh, water. <laughs> so what is the temperature of the air and of the water now in Odessa? About uh, 20 degrees. Uh, in water. Ah, in water. water. Well, uh, both. Water, uh, we don't know. <laughs> temperature of water, we don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. But then you wait, it's quite cold, cold to speed, you have to buy it. Uh, very cold and um, we, uh, we don't want to risk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I would like to share now just the, in continuation of this, of this conversation with uh, Maxim and Ivan, just uh, they uh, tried to say Pascha, and it, it was really fine, because Pascha, this is our Ukrainian uh, word, which we can use very easily. It's the same as we can, uh, the foreigners, the tourists from all over Ukraine, all over the world, they say, okay, we would like to try Ukrainian cuisine, we would like to try Ukrainian borscht, Ukrainian halushki, they say halushki, pampushki, holubci. So if you say paska, it's also fine. They, uh, this is uh, like our Ukrainian traditional Easter cake. And this is uh, a poem, even, so, even a song. And uh, here uh, on the 
Steve Slime. It's really interesting word, kolbasa. <laughs> Now let's ask uh, uh, Olya. Olya Blazevich, yeah. This is one. Hello. Yeah. Hello. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, did you go to the church this year? Uh, no, this year we didn't go to the church because uh, in our family tradition uh, we um, usually uh, caked um, um, Easter cake, uh, cooked a Easter cake uh, together uh, with uh, all members of uh, family, but uh, this year we didn't um, uh, eat and uh, we also um, I didn't do the other uh, <laughs> traditions here. <laughs> well, okay. So, well, it's it's sad probably, but we hope that uh, for the next year you will continue from the tradition. So, Olaf, can I ask you just to read this uh, poem? Uh, okay. Uh, I have a basket. Uh, it's for Easter. What's uh, in the basket? Please tell me. Pasca. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Pasca, babka, cheese and butter, uh, ham, horseradish and kovbasa with some onions and uh, beet radish, a painted egg and colored ones and an Easter egg. We are going to light a candle, go to church and have it blessed and together we, uh, we will all sing out Christ is rising, indeed he has risen. So yeah, Christ is rising. Christ is rising. Yeah. Indeed, he has right. So here are some products. <laughs> um, yeah. Pasca, it's fine. Babka, cheese, butter, ham. But what is it? Horseradish. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a kovbasa, uh, um, which uh, was made from horse. <laughs> From course, but uh, maybe, maybe let's ask our other students. Can you write in the chat what is it? Horse radish. Maybe you know this. So nobody is writing. Well, you know, uh, my mother-in-law. She said, "Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, it's it's really." Uh, my mother-in-law says if we will bless uh, uh, horseradish and then eat in the morning of Easter, then all mosquitoes will not bite you during the whole year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, we, uh, in fact, last year we tried, we add horseradish. But anyway, mosquitoes uh, beat us. <laughs> well, so, but this is green. Okay. Kalbasa, uh, onion, beet radish, you understood. And the last two, last two lines, Christ is rising. Indeed, he has risen. Well, by the way, can I ask Roman? Hello, Roman. Uh, Hello. Roman can, oh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. So, did you celebrate Easter? Yes, uh, with my family, by the Pascha, uh, it, it is all. I so don't go in the church because I don't know why parents uh, are going. <laughs> Well, sometimes we're just a little bit lazy <laughs> to wake up early in the morning. Maybe. Well, uh, Roma, uh, I would like to ask you just look at these two lines in the poem. Christ is rising, indeed he has risen. Uh, so, can you translate them exactly? I find it X and colors what? Uh, two last lines. Ah, Christ is rising. Uh, I uh, indeed uh, why? Так. Indeed, he has risen. Uh, Christos was Christ. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, but it's very simple. But Christ is 
reason? Pidnyamsa was crass. Why it's so strange construction of the sentence? I don't know. Maybe in English it's uh, some ustocho uh, выражение. Well, I agree. In fact, this is passive voice, passive stan, Christ, abo, скажем так, Christos ye was crassly. Ah, understand. But the last one, the, the second, indeed he has reason. What is he has? Indeed, pravdi, vin, maje, was krasa, vin maje vstal. Do we translate this has? Uh, on imeet, was krishenie, jesli daslovna. Mm -hmm. But what about has? Имеет, по-моему, has, have, has. А, uh, but why, why, it, why we have this, uh, this verb in this sentence? Indeed, he has reason. Uh, he has, uh, ну, maybe, uh, ну, yes. <laughs> maybe she, uh, it's, uh, значит, but... Можно скажу по-русски? Well, yes, you can. Возможно, имеется в виду, что он имеет воскрешение. He has risen. Он был, точнее, он был воскрешен. Look, Anatoly has already wrote for you. Because it's a result. We have the result that he has done it. So this is present perfect. Yeah, this, it's a complicated grammar material. Thank you, Roman, and you really did great. <laughs> because now we will talk about this, about this, about grammar, and plus uh, Easter. Well, by the way, if Anatoly is here, good evening, Anatoly. Uh, good evening, Rosanna. Good evening, everyone. So, um, a few words. How did you celebrate Easter this year? I didn't uh, celebrate Easter because I'm Buddhist, uh, but uh, oh, I respect, yeah. I respect uh, Christian fact, uh, and uh, I congratulate my friends, uh, my mother, uh, my brother, and uh, all my friends uh, who who are Christians. Yeah. So, but by the way, do you have some? Uh, similar holidays in this religion. Yes. Uh, it's like those day of Buddha. Or what is this? So. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, the those day of Buddha uh, was uh, in uh, all moon in May. Alnaunia uh, Maya. We we are celebrating. It, it will be, yeah. It, yes. Will will be. It will be in uh, May uh, during uh, how long? <laughs> yeah, during the full moon. Full moon, yes. So you see, it is this close to our Easter, to our yeah. Like uh, Jewish people also had Easter, not eat the Pesach. It's one week ago, so Buddha's birthday will be in May. So almost all religions they have something connected to this date. Yes, uh, I agree. Yeah. Well, and thank you, Anatoly, for your really helpful phrase about the present perfect. So, and if we have already spoke about present perfect. Now I suggest to all of you and uh, follow to my link. Do you see link in the chat? So, and go please to this link. And now we will, uh, I see you are almost, all. a lot of, of you are here. Now we will work a little bit with verb tenses. And uh, we try to understand about all these tenses. So... I see we have one viewer on YouTube. 
uh, probably it's somebody somebody from us. So that's why this viewer, I don't know who is this. You can uh, you can also follow to our li the link to us. Just uh, job tenses. Now. Everybody who is watching us on YouTube, you can enter to this document. Well, look, uh, you can you can see that there are twelve uh, tenses of verb in English in English uh, language. In the chat, <laughs> uh, please uh, put. Uh, you have five marks, for example, the best. If you understand verb tenses very well, you can give yourself five. If you don't understand nothing about verb tenses, what is it, present simple, past continuous, present perfect, you can give you zero. So just in the chat, please put your mark um, in the chat uh, in Google Hangouts. Please come back a little bit. I would like to see. Do you do you like uh, grammar? Do you like verb tenses? So in the chat, in Google Plus, please uh, show me how well do you know verb tenses? Just say yes, leave. Well, not bad. I see. Four and a half, Vadim, Karim, Tina, four, Katya, three, Roman, four. Well, so, mm -hmm. and the one, Max is four, and the one, five. So, great. Superb. So, it means we can, we can continue to work. So and now I uh, I would like to ask you uh, to write markers word markers what like for example uh, words which can help us to understand what tense is this like in uh, perfect for example it's uh, already so it means if we have the word already or uh, just we will understand that this is present perfect. Well, now I will ask you to write at any uh, where would you like to to write at any of this table just this words markers. So you can write all of you. You can write in this table. I see somebody wrote today, yesterday, very well. Thank you, you are very active. Great, you see some, a lot of people know yesterday and tomorrow. Now. So. Well done, super. Uh -huh. From five to six yesterday, somebody is writing about past continuous. Usually, I will also write. So, what about past perfect and future? Mm -hmm.
somebody. Somebody is trying to write about past perfect. Oh, present perfect is very popular. Till the moment in the past. Thank you about past perfect. Great. Look. All of this you have done by yourself. It's true. For example, uh, I go to school every day. I went to school yesterday. I will go to school tomorrow. I am going to school at this moment. I will be going to school at this moment tomorrow. Uh, I uh, was going to school at this moment yesterday. I have gone to school. I ha I had gone to school before my husband came home. I have been going to school uh, since uh, eight o'clock. <laughs> so I am trying to tell you the sentences in different different verbs. And thank you, really, you are very active. And we have uh, future perfect, uh, past perfect continuous, and future perfect continu continuous. In fact, you are absolutely right, because these three, uh, three tenses, they are not very popular. They are not very often used in, in uh, general speaking. So probably we even leave them behind. And now, look, I have written the very simple, a very simple sentence. Працювати в компанії Google. For example, я я працюю в компанії Google, and uh, we try to write these sentences in different tenses. Uh, I think the best would be like present simple, past simple, future simple, uh, then present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous, and present perfect, and present perfect continuous. Well, I will ask uh, uh, Anatoly. Can you write uh, uh, sentence number one, the translation? Я працюю в компанії Google in English. Katya, write please this sentence into past, past simple. Я працювала в компанії Google минулого року, for example. Karina, uh, please write in future simple. Я буду працювати в компанії Google. Let's ask uh, Maxim. Я працюю в за в цей момент в компанії Google. It's number four, present continuous. Uh, Оля Блажевич, it's number five. Uh, я працювала в компанії Google з uh, вересня по жовтень минулого року, for example. Roman number six. Я буду працювати в компанії Google з вересня по жовтень наступного року. Marina, you will write uh, seven present perfect. Uh, я вже працювала в цій компанії uh, нещодавно. Я працювала в цій комп компанії Google нещодавно. And we have Olenka uh, Dzbenko, so you have number 10, present perfect continuous. Я працюю в компанії Google з 2001 року, for example. Vadim, we don't have sentences for you, so that's why you will read all of them. 
Вадим, you are our teacher. You can, uh, you can change and correct all sentences. I see you almost finished. Vadim, do you hear me? Yes, Vadim, please turn on your microphone. Are you Vadim Chamarev or you are Vadim Vadividov? Good evening. Good evening. So, yes, we hear you. So please, uh, Vadim, now, now, you will read, uh, now you will read the sentences and if you see the mistake, you have to change them. Okay. okay. I work at Google company. I work at Google company now. I worked at the Google company last year. I will work in the Google company maybe tomorrow. I work, oh, maybe, next. maybe I'm working for Google company. Yeah, so can you go to this document and change? I am working. Because it's now, like, we are working now. I was working at the Google company from September to October. Like, last uh, year. I, yeah, I would work in the Google, uh, What what is it I would work? In the Google. Uh, this uh, is what, what are the sentence? Uh, this is uh, future continuous, like uh, I future will. Continu I will be working. Yeah. I will be working in the company Google um, next year. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. From September to October, la la la, next year. I have already worked um, at Google company. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is right, I think. Uh, yes. This is okay. Um, I work in Google company. Maybe I. I, I what is this? Um, uh, this is perfect present perfect continuous number ten. Present perfect continuous. Ah, present perfect continuous. Um, I uh, I have been working in company uh, in the Google company since uh, 2001. I have been working. Yeah, it should I, be written. Yeah. I have been working well at the company. Yeah, probably yes, the at best the at the company at Google company at at, the, um, at Google. Well, so here we see uh, that. It is quite quickly review of all sentences. Thank you, Vadim. By the way, uh, how did you celebrate Easter? Easter, we um, we went to the church uh, with the family, and uh, then we went to our friends. And uh, uh, eggs, eggs, <laughs> call it eggs. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, and thank you, Vadim, and for your story about Easter and for your correction of our sentences. Thanks. You can uh, turn off you. your mi microphone. Well, uh, Roman Yakovina is asking uh, about uh, people who can't join us. So, and as I wrote before, uh, at uh, 8.30 we have to switch off. Just we have one viewer. And I even don't know who can. Uh, Marina and the Maxim, are you at the, at the same room, at the same flat? Maria, Marina, Maxim, Ivan? Yes, uh, um, we um, to, to, to another room. <laughs> another room. Yeah, well, just uh, can I ask uh, you or maybe Marina to log out from the web room or from the chat room just to give the opportunity to this one uh, viewer? Roman, who is this? Uh, do you know? Alina. 
Алина. Алина Медниченко? No, Алина Тимошенкова. Ага, so well. So, yes, of course, now probably Marina or Maxim and Ivan, just one computer you can turn out and Alina Timoshenko will join. Yes, thank you, Marina. Roman, uh, thank you, Maxim. Maxim, Marina, Ivan, I love you. Uh, so, Roman, can you write uh, Alina that she can enter to the room? There is a, the free place for you. Uh, I am writing right now to her. Yeah. So, uh, Roma, you, look, you can send her this uh, link. Uh -huh. Yeah, just send it, and she can enter to the room. Also, I will I will post this link. Uh, uh, at the main page. Yes, Alina is here. Great. Um, well, thank and you. Yes, hello, Alina. Alina, you can talk. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to join to your meeting. Yeah. So. Uh, it's thank you to the family of Melnichenko. They uh -huh. just share one computer and uh, uh -huh. they gave thank the you. place. Well, uh, mm -hmm. probably I hope that you have heard everything that we were talking. So tell us, please, how did you celebrate Easter? Did you go to the church? Did you bake Pascha? What did uh, you do? Uh, I, uh, I bought uh, some Pascha. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, I visited a church with my parents uh, at uh, eight o'clock, uh, and uh, uh, we had a nice time in uh, in church. Yeah. Well, so thank you. And uh, in fact, uh, so now the same question because Elena, you joined us. We still we still are trying to to speak to other people who are here. And here is uh, Olga, Olenka Dzubenko. Hello, Olga. Olen, Lena. Hello. Uh, how are you today? Today I'm fine, thanks. Well, you know, everybody just telling us how did they go to the church, what did they do after the church. What did you do after the church when you all uh, had... Uh, uh, breakfast, holiday breakfast after the church. What did you do during the day? Maybe what did you do on Monday, today, on Tuesday? Mm. On Monday, uh, in Odessa was very good weather, <laughs> and it uh, was uh, holiday too. Uh, in in Odessa, I think nobody don't walk. Every people sit at home and nothing do. Yeah, <laughs> they, they do they do nothing. Yeah, they do nothing. And I'm with my husband. We also do nothing <laughs> all day. Yeah, but it's really it's a great pleasure. <laughs> Just do nothing. And today I'm I'm work. I'm start my work and. Okay. <laughs> and okay. Yeah, well. So, by the way, uh, yesterday, for example, in Lviv, in fact, according to the Eastern Europe traditions, uh, Monday it's a wet Monday uh, after Easter. Polivian Ponedilok, some people say in Lviv, uh, and it was really a crazy. Crazy celebration at the uh, Rinok, just when everybody took the bottles of the water and they uh, tried to spread the water all over. So, but it is not only one crazy tradition uh, from uh, Lviv. There are some other traditions about celebration all over the world, and I hope that you will like uh, this video. Holy Week celebration around the world. Let's please, let's watch it. So. 
Sevilla, Spain. This is Israel. It's Mexico. Rome, Italy, Vatican. Ecuador, also cross they are doing the uh, classification. Australia, Brazil, well, it was a video from uh, Daily Telegraph. The, the telegraph and uh, you can uh, you can find uh, the same video at our page uh, connected uh, uh, to module 5 here is it you can. so I al already posted it here like our document about verb tenses and uh, the link about Holy Week celebration around, around the world here also is a little video about the East in Great Britain. I know that uh, we don't, uh, you, you can't hear very well uh, all these videos. That's why you, it's like a little bit for you, like advertisement. And I suggest you to watch this video at home, maybe with your children, and to understand how do British people celebrate Easter. You see it's with subtitles. Um, so you can enjoy this video. Well, okay, and uh, we are moving further, and now the next uh, task. Uh, so, in the chat, I'm here is a new link. So, this is a jigsaw. Please go to this page and uh, try to make this puzzle. And when you will be ready, in the chat write what, what have you seen. What? It's only 12 pieces. So, uh, this puzzle by yourself and so did you understand what is this? No? Ha! <laughs> well, I can show you some pictures like, look at this picture. Do you know what is this? So, any ideas? Memorial. Uh, Maxim, Maxim, you can write. Yeah, well, maybe it's a memorial. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And. So, what is this? It's uh, equator. Equator, yeah. yeah. So, look here, equator. <laughs> of course, this is... And, yeah, here is this, this picture. 
And uh, do you know why we are talking today about equator? Hello? Because today is middle of August. Great, of course. <laughs> you understood. Yeah. Uh, today is the uh, middle uh, of our course, it's equator, and if it's equator, so we have to sum up, we have to understand uh, uh, what results do we have for now. This is an equator, yeah, like here. And uh, uh, I'd like to know some of your uh, impressions about our course. And in fact, not only me, but uh, uh, our American embassies also, they are interested in this. So that's why I have created for you uh, the document which you can find in our course. So this is a Google uh, survey. Look, when you enter, when you enter into our models, to our, now I make it bigger. So the first one is equate, equator, and here is survey. You press this button, and here just explanations that what I would like to know from you. And uh, here the Google form, Google document, just to let me know, me and the American Embassy, what was interesting uh, during these four models. What do you like most about face-to-face -face lessons, about online meetings, and maybe some of your ideas how to improve our course, how to make it better. Maybe uh, just to, to make better my work or Anya's work, or just <laughs> everything that would be interesting to us to know. Because it's true, uh, we are trying to make this course for you, and we are trying to 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 do our our best just to fill all your expectations. Well, if you are ready, um, if you agree uh, to make this survey, just put plus in the chat. I am ready. I will, even I will do it. Thank you very much. I see that you will do it. Well, and now if we, are, we have started to talk about uh, our uh, course, here is just the explanation what we are having next uh, month. Uh, next two weeks, you will work with Model 5. And I saw that some of you have already started to work. Here, Model 5 is challenges and job search. Uh, during, this, during this model, uh, you will read about best companies, you will read about Google company, we have already practiced this sentence, uh, you will learn how to make business appointment, just how to talk about when you will meet and what will you do. Uh, also, as for grammar, it would be like uh, the revision of uh, future simple, Oh, by the way, about revision. Uh, some some of you wrote uh, in a question about face-to-face -face meeting that you repeated that you repeated the present perfect. And here is uh, a little, uh, just 19 funny uh, pictures about two words: revise and repeat. Do you know the translation of these two words? Revise and repeat. Maybe in the chat, please write. Revise and repeat. Who will write in the chat? Mm. 
revise and repeat. Пересматривать, повторять. Thanks, Vadim. In fact, both, yeah, both of them are uh, re revised and repeat. They have in our variant, they have повторять. But uh, what is the difference between them? Now we will understand. We will do these words. Uh, come on. It is loading. And here is num picture number one. You see, it's quite simple. This is repeat or revise. Uh, I see Ola wrote repeat, повторить, но как слова повторить кем-то. Yes, exactly. And revise just to remember some some materials to refresh this material. Well, uh, let's here is repeat. Uh, please, uh, no, I see that, of course, we, we will choose repeat, yeah? Maybe let's we ask Olenka. <laughs> uh, so you, you can, you will be uh, the voice of all group and I will be the hand of all group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I have to press? Repeat. Repeat. And next. Well. Calm. Can you re read, please? Keep calm and revise English. Which and why? revise. So and it's very, revise. it's very popular. Yeah, keep calm and learn English. Well, and here is repeat, 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 repeat. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you will do five, and then we will change you. Repeat, please. History repeats itself. Yeah, just the history. Mm -hmm. Everything together. And the fifth, the last picture for you. Hmm. And what about this? And maybe revise. Revise. <laughs> Um, like you see, the <laughs> teacher is telling pen, and children say pen. Also say pen. This is revise some material, like refresh, or повторять за кем-то или повторять что-то там. Well, just maybe let's help. Anybody, can you help us? Revise or repeat? Repeat, all of people. Kuzufa. <laughs> well, I will just repeat. Well, thank you. Now we will change you. Let's choose uh, Olya Blažević. Olya. Uh -huh. Just okay. a moment. Here is just the word. What okay. would you say? Update. Repeat or revise? Uh, revise. Well, next. Next five for you, Olya. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Maybe revise. Like the girl, she is reading all books. Yes, yeah, she is revising. Yeah. Yes, and she uh, prepared her for her exams. Mm -hmm. uh, try again. Um, repeat. Well, I'm just pressing everything that you are telling me. Um, uh, it looks like uh, revise. Fine. And the last tense. Uh, uh, revise, yeah. 
revived. Before exam, this yeah. boy is reviving. Thank you. Let's choose uh, Christina. Well, look, Christina. Uh, repeat. So, girl is sleeping and she repeats. She don't repeat and don't revise. Maybe this revise. Revise, yeah, she just revise something before exam. This one. Repeat. Repeat again, again and again, yeah? Yeah. Mm. It's like grammar here. What? So, uh, so maybe somebody Where? can help. Revise or repeat when you are doing some test, some grammar test. Mm -hmm. Is it revise or repeat? Revise. Well, Roman and Ole and Vadim, yes. they wrote revise. Well, now I will press revise. Next. <laughs> Do dog can't hear. So, uh, repeat. repeat. Yeah, he just asked, please repeat. I can't hear. Yeah, girls. In fact, you can work together. And fifteenth. Revise. Revise. Okay. Well, the next, the la last uh, form will be maybe for Katya. Katya, Katya. This is for you. Revise. You're always revising before exam. Oh, read to the sentence. We uh, revise the, per uh, the present perfect tense in our face-to-face -face meeting. Is it true? Katya, is it true about <laughs> your face-to-face -face meeting? Uh, yes, it was true. <laughs> yeah. So what about this second hand? Maybe repeat. Yeah, repeat again. Yeah, the, the, repeat the chance. And nineteen. For you to retake the quiz, you need to. <laughs> Maybe repeat your answers and read the comments for the wrong answers. Repeat yes, you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's submit. Alexander uh, wrote in some of the questions that he likes uh, all uh, quizzes where he could see uh, the, the answers immediately. Look, correct, correct. You see it's green. Correct, 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 correct. Correct, correct. Everything is correct. Correct, 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 correct. Oops. <laughs> the last one is also here. Yeah, we, we had to choose uh, revise. Revise all your answers and read the comments again. Well, but it's great. You have 18 out of 19. Uh, if you studied in school, it would be 11. <laughs> So that's very well. I am closing this one. And uh, oh, by the way, about the answers. 
uh, here in our site, at our course, you could say the next uh, page surprise, it should be published on April 30th, and here are the answers for all your email correction, like when you follow this link, you will see the answer key to email correction. Uh, almost all of you send me emails, so here are the, uh, the correct answers. Also, it's a uh, uh, link to Facebook group. Uh, I, in fact, I see that almost all of you, you are joined here, probably. Well, it's not your group, but very, very close to you. Well, and uh, let's see what do you also have in uh, uh, the last uh, um, the last uh, information which I have to give you today. Well, uh, here in module five, you will write your CV or resume. What is the difference you will understand during uh, recommendation, reading all recommendations at this at this course, and you have you have to write your CV. And uh, our reload officer Kevin McCoy, he is very interested in infographic. Uh, I know that some of you we have uh, you are programmers. We have a different computer man, and probably they know what is it infographic. And if you if you would like, you can make your CV, your resume uh, using these uh, tools. Like, for example, look at this site. Here are some really interesting uh, CVs, just with. What is the name, with the employment, with experience? CV, it's those documents which you send to the companies where you would like to work. So, and if you send them not only the Word document, and you will send them uh, this infographic, probably you will, uh, they will look at you more attentively. Well, let's try to understand what is written here. Like my first question, uh, Anatoly, it's for you. What is uh, the name of this man? Eric. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Katya. Uh, uh, how how many years of working experience do you see? What is his? Twelve well, years of work experience. Yes, exactly, and. Uh, Karina, can you tell uh, where what uh, where did he work? Oh, maybe it is not very good to see. Uh, he worked in the mob mobile department, uh, in the bank, and in the net. So well. Uh, the next question will be for Ivan, let's say for Ivan. So what uh, what skills are the most productive? What is the best skills of this man? Project management, five from five. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, mobile and mobile development also five mm -hmm. from five. And uh, what he is not very sure, what is the weakest one? Web programming, three from five. Yeah. What about you? Do you have skills of web programming? One from five. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> yes. And what about uh, Adobe Photoshop? Mm, two from five, three from, from five. And, pro and what about project management? Oh, it's not my <laughs> my. Oh, it's German. It's not my strong. Uh, uh, it's not my job. It's, I don't know project management. No, but anyway, you, you see, you can understand everything. Uh, what about Marina? 
Is she is she there? Yes. Maybe Max. Oh yes. Hello, Marie. Hello. Because I didn't say you hello today. <laughs> uh, what about how old is this man? Do you see? Yes, I see. Uh, see uh, uh, he has um, 35 years old. Yes. Uh, is he married? Uh, yes, he is married. And where does he live? Uh, uh, he lives uh, in Tel Aviv. Yeah, in Israel. Great. So, just look again at all this. And we can practice a lot of and a lot of, like uh, his. Uh, yes, Katya, of course. It, don't worry. <laughs> we will meet maybe next Monday. In fact, we are finishing. Yeah. So that's why Katya, she is going. Bye bye. Thank you for participation. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye bye. Well, uh, so just look at this infographic and probably you would be interested in this. And uh, how to make all this uh, picture with information? You just uh, write in Google uh, infographic CV or how to make infographic. And there are a lot of, a lot of different sites which can give you this opportunity. So it is, it is not obligatory, it's optional. If you want, you can do it. If you, if no, just word will be okay. So, but probably it would be interesting for you. So it's uh, here. It, we have done this. So we have already finished with all tasks which I have planned for you. And Katya exactly came <laughs> came out in time. Well, if you have any questions, you can write you can write them to me, uh, just personally or here. Um, uh, next meeting, as I mentioned, we will have on Monday. It would be the tenth uh, of May, and maybe some of you will go to the cemetery because uh, it's Pomenalny Ponedilok, for example, in our in Poltava region. Uh, if uh, you will not be able to join, it's fine, don't worry. Uh, you can watch us online. Uh, so we have opened two models, model 5 and model 6, just to be flexible for you. You can do all of them at the same time, maybe just in one day, or you can make them during one month. So all deadlines, they are a little bit flexible. Uh, I try not to close uh, uh, all discussions and etc. Everything would be open. And if you if you have uh, some task which you didn't do during these four models, you also can uh, come back to them, revise all materials. And uh, uh, do again these tasks. So, do you have any questions? Maybe in the chat, plus minus. <laughs> I have no, no. only one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, late with uh, doing some uh, assignments, and uh, some of them are writing are closed. So I cannot uh, write in his. Um, yeah, which exactly? Because uh, some of you, you wrote me and I have opened them. Oh, many, very many. So uh, just one second. Email, emailing practice mm -hmm. due April 28, but it closed. Uh, also uh, Probably I change email practice in, in discussion. Yes, yes, yes. Online meetings module 4 closed. Questions about module 3 closed. Face-to-face -face meeting module 3 closed. An inspirational video closed. Writing a bio closed. Ah, no. Writing bio I am broad, so it's okay. Well, by, uh, 
Why you got on the third one, one yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I just check again uh, because we all we uh, copy the the all course uh, from uh, from the main course and mm -hmm. all the lines they are going together for all uh, twelve groups which are studying yes, now. So, so I will see and I will uh, change all the lines. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very much. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, your back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and I see Roman also, you have two questions, yeah? I don't hear you. No, I uh, have no one question. Uh, I uh, don't understand the, your question. Uh, when you uh, ask for this question, some uh, question. I, so just I ask. Uh, I'm. I asked. Do you have any questions for me? I don't know. Yeah, so like uh, girls, uh, Christina and Karina, so there are a lot of uh, tasks which you, you haven't done, so you can come to them again and do them, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, okay. So, and please, I ask you, just uh, go to our, um, go to our page, and please do uh, equate equate a survey. And uh, just uh, understand, you have to understand that this is really for you. If you will write honestly for all questions, it would be easier for us to change a little bit our course uh, and uh, just to do it more flexible, more interesting for you. I hope he will do it. Well, okay. Just and now probably we will finish. And here is as usually <laughs> our jingle which shows us that this is the end of our online meeting. And three times as usually. The second one. Oh, all photos which I have done. Uh, uh, during our meeting, it will be in Facebook in our group. It will be uh, in mod in module online t online uh, meeting and from the today's day. So you can watch uh, all your photos, how you were uh, talking and uh, how what did you do during last uh, one hour and fifteen minutes. Well, thank you for everyone. Thank and goodbye. And see you next Monday at 8 o'clock. Bye-bye. And again, Christ is rising. So bye. See you. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>